My route now takes me south down to the River Thames to explore one of the city's oldest and dirtiest secrets. With specialist local tour guide Luna Hazarika. So Luna, why have you brought me here? Well, to see where it all began, or this is the River Thames. Well, what happened in the early 1800s? It started to be used as sewer. The problem happened in the summer of 1858. It was also known as the Great Stink, when the sewage problem got totally out of hand. It was a very hot summer. The river levels went really low, and the whole thing just looked really mushy and smelly. And it remained for a Victorian genius by the name of Joseph Bagelger, who was head of the Metropolitan Board of Works, to actually come up with this system of pipes that actually stay underneath our feet today. So they said so the embankment became the embankment because there's all these sewage pipes underneath. Absolutely. And so where the river the river went much further up there then? Yeah, it would have been a hundred metres wider. The northern part would have been the Victoria embankment. The southern part would have been the Albert embankment. Right. It was actually narrowed. Instead of digging around the roads, he reclaimed land and dug through that to actually lay the sewage pipes there. By the time he dug these trenches, it actually took the opportunity to say, look, why don't we put the district pine there as well? So it actually put the underground system in there. You know, I think it's weird that in Roman times you had sewage systems, and then we all sort of forgot about it, and it wasn't until Victorian times that we built them again. Absolutely. Um, so if you look at these first public bars, um, they were so social that you know, you'd go in rather like a man would in a pub or a woman would in a pub, actually sit down on these um, stone slabs with a keyhole-shaped hole in them. You'd sit next to all of your friends. And you'd have a poop. You'd have a poop and you'd actually talk and you'd have like a very friendly conversation. You Maybe some water. The poop. You're obsessed with poop. I'm obsessed with the, uh, I think the, uh, the history of London and that whole part of it. <laughs> what is that in your pocket? Well, how they used to use poop and how they used to actually clean themselves up afterwards. Obviously there was no toilet paper in those days. Yeah. And this is what they used to use. And they used to use something like this. It's a recreation of a Roman poo brush. They'd actually have to share this as well, dip oh. it in vinegar or maybe in water. That, some people believe that's the origin of the phrase, getting the wrong end of the stick. So ah. if you're that too. But it was only until the Victorians came and actually lay these actual sewage pipes to the actual problem. Stop this man going. talking about poop. Please help me. Security. Thankfully, modern Londoners can now take going to the loo for granted. And the Thames is no longer a source of cholera and typhoid. Although the original shoreline is now marooned 50 metres inland. So this is the York Watergate. It would have been the entrance on the river for the Duke of Buckingham's mansion. I think it like oh, because all this was the river and that's where the boats would go in. God, it's like a driving that. garage, really. So you get maybe the Duchess would want to get off and not show her ankles in public. So she'd actually take the boat straight through the Watergate and get off in the privacy of the actual mansion. There are a series of mansions all the way down the shoreline here. So it wouldn't have been a clean, straight shore, but it would have been um, higgledy-piggledy a bit with, with mansions sticking out. And that shoreline, there would be mudlarks and people picking things off, right. these sailboats all the way around here as well. It's amazing, actually, because look how far we are from the actual tents. It's really incredible to think all this was reclaimed, and all this is underneath the pipes and sewage and the district line. And <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. 